The Optimec, and who are you? Well, my name is Mike O'Reilly. I'm the aerosol jet product manager for Optimec. So, so what are we looking at here? Uh, we have a couple of different product types. These are uh, printed um, antennas on plastic devices. Uh, our process enables customers to print on low temperature substrates. Uh, it replaces a current process that includes laser ablation of these um, different uh, feature sizes. So those are smartphone parts? These, these are all parts of smartphones, right? And so how is the uh, efficiency of the antenna compared to a normal antenna? The efficiency is exactly the same. There's no difference. It's not more efficient, but it's not less efficient. So the exact same efficiency with using less material. Um, we're a green technology, meaning there's no plating. We directly print the metals where they need to go. And once again, we get the exact same um, performance using less material than current processes. So it, it means a thinner phones a little bit? It could possibly mean a thinner phone. It means that um, uh, you can print onto um, phones that maybe have a metal ring around them, which would enable us to print uh, all of the antennas inside the phone that you couldn't do with necessarily using a plating, electroplating technology. And uh, what are we looking at here? What are those? Uh, this is our lens technology. Lens, so we have micro in aerosol jet, and lens is macro technology. What lens is used for is typically either to build up prototyping parts. This happens to be a, think of this as a hip, um, and a hip prototype. Um, it's also this used- This is heavy. It's heavy, but it's, it's, once again, it's a prototype. And from this, you'd create a mold, and then you'd probably create the hip joint. So it's not like re resin or something no, like that? No, 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 it's so metal. So this is production it's metal. 3D printing? Yes, it's metal. So we are actually pr printing. It allows us to create interesting alloys. So here I'm magnetically, I can magnetically, I can't pull this up, but as I move across this, now I can pull it off. And this is an alloy. And so what it allows customers to do is to um, create interesting parts, develop next generation alloys, or it allows them to repair parts by adding features and functions. All right, so at Optimic you do a lot of different things. You have a lot of different uh, technologies. We do, we, and we really have two core technologies. One is used for metal, for, as I said, the, the macro technology, and one is used for micro, which is the printing of you know, high-value parts like, like, like antennas on smartphones. Um, but it's also used for printing uh, polymers for medical devices, things like that. All right, do you have uh, just this one right here? Uh, is this part of your product? That's part of our products. So this is... Uh... This happens to be uh, a, a sensor. Um, and this sensor can be used for a wide variety of applications. Um, so we print both 2D and 3-dimensional. One of the benefits of our technologies is we can print on a wide variety of substrates. We have a big operating envelope for materials. Um, and lastly, um, we can print features from as small as 10 microns up to centimeters in size.